ODM has to be compliant is the same way National Liberal Party has to be compliant. So all these parties we form what we call Political Parties Liaison Committee, PPLC. So each, each, um, each party is represented in PPLC by two people. So in the new uh, Act, uh, the, the, the IBC Amendment Act 2024, this organization, PPLC, was given three slots to choose people who will be sitting in the IBC selection panel. So, IEB, so uh, PPLC, from all its members, to choose three people to represent, to represent the PPLC at the uh, selection panel. So, on Friday, the whole team congregated in Machakos for that election. This election was coordinated by PPLC itself, or, uh, Office of the Registrar of Political Parties and IEBC. Before that process, before that election, the PPLC and Registrar of Political Parties gave notices to all parties. Nomination papers were signed, Kilam Tuakajitabulisha, Tukenda Tukachagulua were vetted and then allowed to proceed for elections on Friday. In that election, where I was a candidate, I was in the minority coalition, which is Azimio coalition. In that coalition were two candidates, myself and one candidate from Waipa Democratic Party called uh, Dr. Uh, Kokimuni. At the end of that exercise, I emerged the winner. Out of the 23 political parties in Azimio, out of 23 parties, all of them voted. Out of that, I got 16 votes. My colleague uh, from Waipa lost with seven votes. This is a certificate that was issued, issued on that day. This is a polling station results form showing how many uh, votes each of us got. At the top here, Kokimuli got seven votes. Augustus Chalomuli got 16 votes. This form was witnessed by uh, Koki's agent, who has signed here, Rosa Wangu from Nak Kenya, and my agent was John Mwangi of Ubuntu Party. I won 16 votes against seven. These are the nomination forms that, we, that had been presented to us. Everyone signed, all, all parties signed this. So it's a big surprise when yesterday we see in the news that Azimio has decided to change my name and replace me with that of the person who lost to me. And this is a surprise to all of us. PPLC is an independent body. We have been given three slots. Those slots have not been given to Azimio. They've not been given to Kenya Panza. They've not been given to any party. They've been given to the coalition of political parties, PPLC. And PPLC now will choose from. The law does not ask Azimio to choose for them, for PPLC. And PPLC members chose me. And I've got all the documents to, bear, to show that. Now, what you see yesterday is what we call highest impunity, corruption. Where one Junet Mohammed and the Waipa Party, led by Kalonzo Musioka, purport to talk for the majority of Kenyans. They cannot, they cannot go against the rule of law. The law was in place. I won fair and square. 16 votes against 7 votes. You can't beat that. You can't cheat that. There is nothing you can do about that. If they felt aggrieved, the law is very clear. They could easily have gone to court. But you don't come and show us that you are the big person, that NLP is a small party and can be thrown around. They even say that we are non-parliamentary. PPLC was created especially for the non-parliamentary parties. It was created especially for the parties that are not represented in, 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 in the parliament. Because in parliament, there are two slots for majority and minority. One has gone to ODM and another one has gone, gone to Kenya Panza. So this position at PPLC is for all the 90 parties. 
and those parties have chosen me. They haven't chosen anybody from Wiper. They have chosen me. So for Wiper now to come and say, oh, we are the bigger party, we deserve this position, that is impunity, that is corruption, that is illegal, and that is fraud. The same people have gone around and created, forged our signatures to say that we took part in an exercise organized by Azimio. And that is wrong. That is fake. That is lying. These are the people who we expect to be running for president in 2027, and here they are lying. We are trying to change this country. We are choosing people in the, in this, in the selection panel who we choose men, men and women of integrity to be IBC commissioners. When you start lying to the country like that, when you start forging other people's signatures and saying that they took part in your exercise, what integrity is that? These are the people who we are saying we are going to get rid of in this country. We don't want liars in this country. We want people of integrity who will stand with the truth in Kenya. The truth is that I want this fair and square. Let them eat that. Let them accept that. And let this country develop. This country is not made for the same, same, same old leaders. The same people who have been in, in, authority, in, in power all these years, they want to cling on to it. But we are saying no. The people have chosen me, I am new in politics, but they have said they will go with me because they have tested me, they have seen what I can do, they have seen that I stand for the truth, I stand for integrity, I am not in the league of liars that we are seeing in Azimil. This is my statement. Mr. Gaskin, one question. Yes. Yesterday, Waipa argued your party is not a parliamentary party. Maybe you can start by elaborating what is a parliamentary party. Now, the law is very clear. When, when PPLC was given these slots, PPLC is comprised, comprises of all political parties. We are 90 of us. Now, there is a position for parliamentary parties. That is for the majority and the minority. ODM already has one position and Kenya Kwanza already have. Now, this position is actually designed for non-parliamentary parties. That's why we're given three slots. This covers for those who are not in parliament. So for someone to come and saying we are not a non-parliamentary party, we are actually giving a tick that I deserve to be in that um, uh, selection panel. This position was given to IBC especially to guard against people who don't want other people to rise, who don't want other uh, people to be heard. Whenever there are any positions in this country, where do they go to? When they are, the reason they are cabinet positions, who do they go to? They go to ODM. They go to only these people who are known, all these big names, because they want to make deals with the government. The smaller parties who represent the majority are nowhere in the equation. When they are airline positions, who do they go to? One goes to Raila's daughter, the other one goes to Kalonzo's son. What about us? What about the rest of the country? When will you ever get a chance? And this is what the people of the Kenya are saying. They're saying they want people, they want fresh people like me. And I've been given this my mandate legally, and I want it fair and square, and I'll fight it till the end. Dr. Uh, you are coming upon the Senate to accept the results of yes. the political parties license committee submitted. Right? Yes. Now, failure to that, what's next? We have pre presented our, all of the documents to the mm -hmm. Senate today. We have presented that to the Registrar of Political Parties. They have seen everything. And we are counting on their integrity. The whole country is watching them. Let us follow the law. If they fail to, law, to follow the law, we'll take them to court. We will go to court. Last question, Mr. Gaskin. The same same party wiper argued that the slot was a result for Azimio. Is your party an affiliate of Azimio party? The law states very clearly that this, there are three positions. One, three categories. PPLC is, is supposed to choose from a party other than parliamentary party, that is those who are not aligned to any coalition. Number two, majority party or coalition of parties. Now, this is Kenya Kwanza and, it's, and, and, and the affiliate parties. Number three, minority party or coalition parties. Coalition parties, that now represents Azimio. Now, it, PPLC is supposed to choose from Azimio. But it's not Azimio that is the nominating body, no. And that's why I cannot understand what these people don't understand. They are learned lawyers. They are experienced politicians. The law states clearly, PAPPLC will choose from. It doesn't, it doesn't say Azimio will give us. No. Azim, PPLC will choose from Azimio. My party belongs to Azimio coalition. 
is there and the, the result of the political parties has verified that before she gave me that nomination. This was, this was the, the, the nomination for election from Office of the Register of Political Parties. They confirmed that our party belongs to a mere coalition, period. It doesn't matter whether they like me or not. It is the law. <clears throat> Maybe last question. Now that the window is almost closing, what is your next place of action? Uh, we are relying. We are relying on the on the on the on the assemblies. We are calling on uh, Honourable Wetangula to follow the law. That's all. Uh, that's all we are asking for. We are looking at them. We are looking at, the, at, at Parliament. We are looking at the clerk to the Senate. What are they going to do? I have my certificate here. I have the letter from political parties liaison committee. This is from the chairman, showing that the process was fair, and he has put the names of those who won. From the majority, we have uh, Nicodemus Bore. From the non-parliamentary parties, we have Evans Misati. From the minority coalition, we have Augustus Muli. Fair and square. This is the certificate from IBC. This is all the documentation is there, and we have presented that to this parliament. We expect them to be the custodians of the law. Let them do it what is right. Sawa? Hi.